In the late 1970s, a new generation of Soviet fighters and surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, prompted the U.S. Air Force to seek a replacement for the F-15 Eagle Air Superiority Fighter. In 1986, the USAF awarded demonstration contracts to two competing industrial teams, Lockheed Boeing General Dynamics YF-22A, versus Northrop M.C. Donald Douglas YF-23A. The Northrop YF-23A, unofficially designated the Black Widow II, emphasizes stealth characteristics. To reduce weight and improve stealth, Northrop decided not to use thrust vectoring for aerodynamic control as used on the Lockheed YF-22A. Northrop built two YF-23A prototypes. In 1991, after extensive flight testing, the USAF announced that the Lockheed YF-22A had won the airframe competition. Northrop ended its ATF program, and the YF-23A was displayed at the museum in 2000. In the field of alternative military aviation, stealth technology has emerged as an important aspect of modern warfare. The YF-23 Black Widow, an advanced stealth fighter, stands as a pioneer in the field of air combat, shaping the future of air superiority, although the aircraft never served on active duty. Here we explore the development, features, and significance of the YF-23 Black Widow, an extraordinary aircraft that pushed the boundaries of stealth technology. During the 1980s, the United States Air Force USAF, initiated the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, program to replace its aging fleet of fighter aircraft. The proposed aircraft not only had difficult to observe radar characteristics but also demonstrated the ability to outperform the newest Soviet Su-27 flanker and MiG-29 fulcrum fighters in air combat situations. This was a significant advance because, up to that time, the only existing stealth aircraft, the F-117 Nighthawk, lacked air-to-air -air weapons and supersonic flight capabilities. In addition, the Air Force wanted the ATF to have supercruise capability, allowing sustained supersonic flight without relying on fuel-intensive afterburner engines. Two competitors emerged as finalists in this high-stakes competition, the YF-22, developed by Lockheed Martin, and the YF-23 Black Widow, designed by Northrop Grumman. Lockheed's YF-22 had an impressive visual design, but the YF-23 really stood out with its incredible looks. The aircraft features diamond-shaped wings that contribute to reduced radar visibility, and its sleek profile is reminiscent of the iconic SR-71 Blackbird spy plane. The YF-23 made its maiden flight on August 27, 1990. The two YF-23 prototypes completed a total of 50 flights, accumulating an impressive 65.2 hours of flight time. The testing confirmed that the YF-23 achieved performance values predicted by Northrop, showcasing superior stealth capabilities and speed. Despite the outstanding capabilities of the YF-23, the YF-22 won the competition. The YF-22 is equipped with thrust vectoring capability, helping it perform tight maneuvers at low speeds. Thus, the YF-22 demonstrated greater agility and maneuverability, outperforming the YF-23 in flight testing. Therefore, the YF-23 program was cancelled, and only two YF-23 prototypes were built, and the YF-22 was later developed into the F-22 Raptor. To further reduce its infrared signature, the YF-23 features an innovative cooling system that efficiently removes heat generated by its engines. 
Using a system similar to the B-2 Spirit, a stealth bomber also developed by Northrop Grumman, exhaust gases are transpirationally cooled by projecting onto tiles installed around the nozzles to absorb heat. This system allows the aircraft to minimize thermal emissions, making it less vulnerable to infrared-guided missiles. The YF-23 has outstanding performance characteristics, including high speed, agility, and range. Powered by two advanced turbofan engines, the aircraft is capable of supercruise, meaning it can reach supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners. Allowing it to fly faster and consume less fuel than today's aircraft, while reducing its infrared signature. Its high cruising speed and long-range capabilities provide a significant tactical advantage, allowing it to cover vast distances in a shorter time frame. In late 2004, Northrop Grumman submitted a proposal for a bomber based on the YF-23 to meet the USAF's need for an interim bomber. This proposal competed with the FB-22 and B-1R concepts. However, in 2016, the Air Force ultimately chose Northrop's B-21 long-range bomber over the revived YF-23 Black Widow.